Hi everyone, this is Vinny Tartamella. And uh, yeah, I was a former lead designer for McFarland Toys. I've done stuff for Toy Biz, Diamond Select, and uh, I'm also a comic book artist. I've done a bunch of stuff for Image and other places. These books you see here, these are all mine from my company, Mella Art World. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for the end of the video uh, and learn how to get these. And please enjoy this video. And here we have Boba Fett, the Mythos version from Sideshow Collectibles. So yeah, we're going to break down this, uh, this figure in the review. Uh, I'll give you the good points, the bad points about him, uh, what he comes with, all that kind of great stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, I really like the uh, packaging they did on this. Beautiful photography for, uh, for the back image. Um, really, really nice job. Uh, they, yeah, they, they know what they're doing over there. Uh, I know it's not their first rodeo, but uh, yeah. And this is the image that was on the inside. So when you open up the box, uh, it's right before you get to the figure. Really beautiful job on this one as well. Didn't want to miss that. So yeah, I dig it. And here's everything that Boba Fett comes with. Um, a, a nice selection of hands, that's for sure. Uh, gripping hands, um, trigger fingers, you know, kind of standard good stuff, fists. Um, yeah, nothing too spectacular, but they did a nice job on them. Good paint applications, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, props to them. That's for sure. And they all have uh, wrist pegs, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, he comes with these lightsabers. So, again, it's the Mythos version. So it's like he's, I guess, defeated Jedi and he's collecting them, which is kind of cool. Uh, comes with his, uh, his kind of blaster, the sidearm one. He has his famous blaster, which is really cool. You can see him in the Star Wars movies. Great job on this one, too. Uh, they scuffed it up and everything. and Yeah, just beautiful paint applications, great detail. Uh, and he comes with this big rifle as well. Um, yeah, he's, uh, the wrappings are all cloth. But, uh, yeah, you, you can't open it up. But uh, it looks good, though. Put it in his hand, throw it over his shoulder. And, uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to show you, too. This is, like, uh, the lightsabers. He's got these pieces where they kind of, like, dangle off these leather straps that, uh, yeah, you could put them in. So I thought that was a pretty nice touch. Really cool stuff right there. So, yeah. I need two hands to really get it in there, but a little difficult while filming this. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see where they go. And uh, yeah, the backpack was also separate. It was a pain to get on, so I wasn't going to take it off again because, yeah, not the easiest thing in the world. Kind of hooks in. And uh, yeah, there's a little art articulation in it as well. But yeah, that's where it connects. Right there in the back. So yeah, and he comes with a regular standard stand. I wanted to punch in and show you just a little bit of the detail on this as well. Uh, really amazing. Uh, I, I'm very impressed with what they did, paint and everything. Okay, let's get into the articulation on this guy. Um, again, just look at that detail. Very nice stuff. So he's got that skirt uh, that's it's wired, just so you guys know, um, on the top part as well. So the head, uh, he's got articulation uh, so you can, you know, he does his kind of his tracking scope thing. Which is pretty cool. Uh, head beautifully ball jointed. Uh, two joints in there, I believe, in the neck and in the head itself. So it's got a good range. It's pretty stiff, but yeah, definitely it'll hold hold the pose. His head could go up about that far, and goes down about this far. So that's pretty damn great. I might get a little more out of it. Um, shoulders. He's got uh, butterfly joints in there. Um, Again, ball jointed goes up about that high, you know, pretty good, pretty good back that far. Double um, hinge in the elbow, his hands, that's a weak point. I don't know why the wrist, they're very, very weak. I don't know why they did it like that, but uh, it's cool that they have each, each hand has a peg for the wrist, but they're all pretty weak. So I don't know what they were thinking there, but um, uh, midsection. Um, Great pivot side to side, like a kind of ball jointed movement. So pretty darn good. I like that. 
Again, this piece, it's, it's all wired as well. So I dig it. I kind of like throwing it over his, uh, his left shoulder. Get some good movement in the wind. Legs go far, um, you know, almost, almost into splits. Uh, about that high. Pretty good. Double jointed knees. Very natural looking. Ankles suck. I don't know why. There's like no movement whatsoever in there. Uh, I don't have a Hot Toys to compare because I don't know how they did theirs. But these feel a little janky in places. Uh, backpack. Um, again, uh, you know, these move up and down. The, uh, the top part is kind of rocket that shoots off. These fall all the time as well. Very weak joints in there. I don't know what they were thinking, but uh, yeah, they should have gone back to the drawing board on that one. But um, overall, I still dig this a lot. Pretty nice job on it. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Okay, so here are some uh, poses on the rotating base. Kind of what you could get out of this thing. And uh, yeah, some very natural movements in this. Um, get some really nice poses going. Uh, again, I really love the paint application on this. They scuffed them up. He's got history. I'm not that familiar with like Mythos if it was a storyline or something, but um, I dig it. Uh, whatever they did here and what they were going with, uh, beautiful. This thing, he looks like a statue. And here's another cool pose. Um, I don't have the Mandalorian that has like the flame effect, but uh, if I get my hands on that somehow or something, uh, I'd like to see if it actually plugs into this. That'd be pretty damn cool. But um, until then, it still looks pretty damn neat. She could, you know, put his arm up like he's gonna, he's gonna shoot it. He's about to. So again, these are just other ideas for different poses. But uh, it wouldn't have hurt if they threw a couple of extras in there. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, I wanted a, a Boba Fett that was uh, slightly different. Um, uh, the actual, um, he didn't pop up in the show yet at, at the point when I bought this. So I didn't know that he was even going to be a Mandalorian, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this one was really cool. I like what they did. The extra kind of rags and stuff. Like he's been walking the desert. So it, it's cool. It's a cool effect that they have on this thing. And here he is next to Lord Vader himself. Uh, great height comparison, I think. Uh, again, that's how he was in the movie. He was, uh, you know, he kind of towered over him. But um, yeah, nicely done. This is also a sideshow piece, uh, this Vader, uh, with the working lights and everything. Uh, maybe he'll be my next review. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I really like it. The two of these guys look great together. And of course, next to the Mandalorian. You thought I wasn't going to do it? Of course I was going to do it. <laughs> these guys look killer together. Dude, just really amazing. Uh, that Mando is a Hot Toys. Um, he's he's the uh, with the original outfit from uh, season one. Uh, the base is also his, came with it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll eventually review this piece as well. But one of my, my top favorite figures, pretty much. I mean, just everything about it is just stunning. Really stunning. But yeah, the two of these guys, they look incredible next to one another. Okay, final thoughts. Um, if you could get the Hot Toys, I would get the Hot Toys. Uh, but if you just want Boba Fett with a different look, um, and again, if you don't want to wait for the, uh, the other versions coming from the Mandalorian series, this is still a very cool piece. I, I like it. I'm happy it's in my collection, but, um, yeah, it, it's just going to be like dealer's choice and how big of a fan are you of, uh, Boba Fett? But, uh, yeah, well, and until my next review, remember guys, be kind to one another, big kick ass while you create. Uh, we're going to be doing some more great stuff, so like and subscribe. I got this figure on a discount, so mine was under 200 bucks, but he retails for about 250 just so you know. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. 
Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And, uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And, uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. Both of these books are available right now, and they ship immediately. So, uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format, and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, these are 52 pages each, and it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So, uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.